So we're here at HR at the Samsung booth and they've actually come out with something that's really interesting and it's got my attention. They've started to develop the VRF side of their technology and their uh, a chiller hydronic side and merging these things together into one central system, which, you know, don't freak out. I, I know it's, it sounds like a lot, but it's, it's a very interesting concept. And when you look at the different applications that that could fit in and the modularity and talking to them, they've actually compared these just like you would do a regular bank of uh, VRFs, but they can go up to 16 heads and 240 tons, which really fascinates me. And they are interested in competing in the air-cooled market. Now, we've talked about how VRF is replacing chillers overall, but I think this is a very interesting concept of where VRF and chillers actually kind of start to become one in a, in a certain way. Now this doesn't fit every application, but just think about the ability for that hydronic system to stage down to that degree, especially if they're coming from an old, like say RTAA or YCIV or YCAV, right? These old screw machines that, you know, they have very limited staging capacity and how low they can go. But this, I just, I don't know guys, this really has me interested now i love both of these things y'all know this so this is kind of my world and it's the best of both worlds so essentially talking to them this is the uh the actual vrf it's almost like an essential uh, or it's basically like a standard vrf head on this side but over here there's a brace plate heat exchanger and they're using just this is the chiller piece and so talking to them when you plug in the main unit is going to look at this other section as though it's like an indoor head with an evaporator, uh, EEV and everything it's going to cool with. What they'll do is they'll build a header between all the banks and they'll just flow water and control it through each individual head in order to meet whatever the tonnage is. And what's also interesting to hear is these can do a heat mode as well. So they do have the ability to convert that chill water loop into a hot water loop something i'd never even really thought about this but they were saying that in new york uh you know legionnaires is a big issue with cooling towers in that wet humid environment so they've actually used these in place of cooling towers to handle all their condenser water which just again it's, it's about the thought and the theory of it it's a very interesting concept they've been producing these in a 410a model for they said about five years so i'd say that's it gives them some time to kind of work out a lot of the bugs. If they were only one or two years into it, I might be a little more skeptical, but this is going to be their R32 model. Now, these are not actually in full production yet, but they are on the way. I wanted to show you this. I wanted you to see that this exists. This is here, and we're seeing AHR. There's a lot of hydronics and VRF being put together by a lot of different people. We need to be aware of this technology. We need to try to stay in front of it as much as we can. And let's have a voice in this side of the industry as it's happening, as it's being created. Maybe we can actually make it work for us instead of always having to fight against it. Anyway, appreciate it. We'll see you around. I want to say thank you to today's video sponsor, which is CSG, Compressor Solutions Group, based out of Houston, Texas. They've also got a shop in DFW serving the Texas area, and they also and provide you compressor service nationally. They're a great group of guys. They've done a really good job with just getting their information out there. They try to really invest into training in this industry and just supporting the contractors. Reach out to Jake with any questions you have. He'll be able to take care of you, be able to help you out. They do full service and rebuilds on screw compressors and semi-hermetic recips. They've been a great friend of the channel. They've been a great friend of mine. I look forward to working with them for a long time to come.